Hello, I wanted to do a video about Nea Rivera, um, who passed away, they say, July 8th, was, is the day that she went missing. Um, she did, was missing for five days, um, it was Wednesday, July 8th, when she went missing, and her body was found yesterday. Um... But the, what happened is uh, Nea and her four-year-old son, Josie, went on a boat ride um, on a lake, Lake Pier, P-I-R-U, um, and they were swimming, that's what Josie said, her son, and she didn't have a life jacket on, but he had a life jacket on, and apparently... Um, she, they were, they were struggling to get back on the boat and she pushed him up and then she then never came back up again, um, after that. And, um, there was a, you know, a huge investigation. There was, um, it was just very sad. It was the whole thing and... Uh, I have been following it since day one. Like, I lost a lot of sleep over it, to be honest. Um, just, like, trying to read all these updates on it and figure out, like, anything, any information. And then yesterday they found her. Um, she was 33. She was on Glee, that's what she was most known for, as Santana Lopez, and it's just a shock, really. Um, it's so sad. Like, all yesterday, I was just, like, thinking about um, her son, obviously, because he's four, and, like, he's going to want her. Like, that's just the way, that's just it, because he's so young. Um, and... Um, I was, I've seen Glee. I don't think it's the best show ever. Uh, but I know it helped a lot of uh, LGBTQ kids uh, come out and feel accepted and loved. And she was a huge part of that. And Hannah was not really supposed to be a big part of the show. But Nia's delivery of, of her lines and her singing and everything... Um, they ma ended up making her a bigger part in the show, and then they had um, Brittany and Antana fall in love and get married, and that was never supposed to be a storyline. Um, but Heather and Naya were like best friends off camera, and it was hard for everybody, obviously, and like a lot of the ca uh, Glee cast have paid tribute to Naya, and it's really been heartbreaking and all that but my heart goes out to Heather because I can't imagine losing someone that you were that close to and like had that connection with and Heather hasn't said anything and I don't think she up too well because that's hard that's really hard and Heather worked so hard to like um help with the search and like she volunteered herself to help and like she did so she was trying so hard to help her out to help Nea and um it's sad um and like my heart goes out to her family her friends everybody and yesterday was also the seven year anniversary of Cory Monteith's death who was also on Glee with her. So, um, it kind of seems like maybe the way, the reason they were able to find her yesterday was through Corey guiding them to her. And, um, I kind of believe that, to be honest. Because it was like, they couldn't find her for four days. And then um, yesterday, they did, and it was, I understood 
today, they didn't. They would. They weren't gonna stop the search today. So it's almost like he was like, no, 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 you're not. You're not. You're not gonna leave her here. Um, but there have been seven people within like a few a few years time that have gone missing there, and they haven't been found. And some of them have. Some of them haven't. But. So the fact that she was found um, was really a miracle. And I do think Corey was like leading people to her. Um, so that is it. It's so sad. Um, and again, my heart and everything goes out to everyone that knew her. So. Oh, and uh, I was listening to If I Die Young, what she's saying in Corey's tribute episode. And, you know, obviously it has a whole new meaning now. Um, but yeah, that's it. Goodbye.